Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to talk about rounding to the nearest whole number, aka the ones place. And rounding to the nearest whole is just rounding to the ones place. So we have six numbers that we're going to go through and round to the nearest whole. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have five and three tenths and see how we do this. So for all of these, we're gonna to round to the nearest whole. And like I said, that's the ones place. So I'm going to start by underlining the digit that's in the ones place. And then we need to look next door to see if we round up or stay the same. Essentially what's being asked when we round to the nearest whole, is this number five and three tenths closer to five or the next nearest whole number, which would be six. So is that number closer to five or six? So again, we underlined the digit in the ones place. We look next door. Five or more, we raise the score and round up. Four or less, we let it rest and the number stays the same. Well, three is less than four. So rounding to the nearest whole number, five and three tenths is closer to five than it is six. So let's take a look at number two. Again, nearest whole number is the ones place, so let's underline that. Let's, let, let's look what digit is next door. And we have a zero. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So we're asking ourselves, is this number closer to one or the next whole number, which would be two? Well, that zero says stay the same, so one. Number three, I put a dollar sign there because it's very common to round to the nearest dollar, which is the same as rounding to the nearest whole number or the ones place. So let's round to the nearest dollar or whole number here and underline the ones place. So we're asking ourselves, is $8.75 closer to $8 or nine? Let's look next door Five or more raise the score, four or less let it rest. Well, a seven is five or more, so we are going to round up to nine dollars. Number four, we have a zero in the ones place. That's okay. We're asking ourselves, is 98 hundredths closer to zero or is it closer to one? Let's take a look next door and see if we round up or stay the same. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. Well, nine is five or more, so we would round up to one. Number five, round to the nearest dollar. So we have $502.75. So we need to see if this amount of money is closer to $502 or 503. So underline the ones place. Let's take a look next door. Five or more raise the score there to seven, so we round up. This dollar amount is closer to $503. It would round up to 503. Lastly, number six, we have 43 and 458 thousandths. Underline the ones, and we need to see if this number is closer to 43, or is it going to round up to 44. Four or less, let it rest. So again, we underline the ones digit. Let's take a look next door. And that four says stay the same. So that number is going to round to 43. So there you have it. There's how you round to the nearest whole number or nearest dollar. It's always going to be the ones place. Take a look next door. Five or more, you're going to round up four or less, it's going to stay the same. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.